welcome back so this video initially it was a vega 6 versus vega 7 video however as i was looking around for the 5300 g's price i couldn't find it in fact reviews are all about the 5600G and the 5700G. So I went to AMD's website and I found out that 5300G is for OEM. So I'm actually disappointed because the 4000 series had some really great APUs. I have the 4350G and it's nice. It's the, it's the, that is the one that's using the Vega 6 that I'll be comparing for in this video. However, I thought the 5000 series will be all for the consumers. But to my disappointment, the 5300G is just OEM. And this got me thinking, why? Check out my benchmark here and you probably will guess what I'm thinking. Because of Vega 6 compared to Vega 7, that's 6 cores versus 7 cores, 6 over 7, that's about 86% less cores compared to the Vega 7. Performance-wise, on average, it's about 87% of the Vega 7. So here's what I think. If the 5300G was ever released to the market, no one will get the 5600G. Unless, of course, that certain someone also happens to need the processing power, the multi-core workload processing power. However, typically the APU market are people who, how should I say APU? Or I think it's better to say processors with integrated graphics. It can be Intel or AMD. Typically, people who are looking for such um, such solutions would be people who don't need that much processing power and just want to play games that are not demanding. However, of course, there are, say, the higher-end models like 56 and 5700G and even Intel, they have their i5 and i7s with integrated graphics. Maybe those are for people who are, for some reason, do not need that much of uh, graphics power but need CPU well, processing power. So, that aside, TLDR, I think the 5300G, if ever it was released in the market, will kill off the 5600G, or at least reduce the demand by a lot. However, I sincerely, sincerely hope that AMD will consider bringing in the 5300G and, well, allow the consumers their hands on this uh, beautiful processor. I'd say it's a beautiful processor because I am using a 4350G and I like it a lot. The 5300G will be even better with the new architecture and better IPC and better when it comes to pairing with dedicated graphics card. So with that done, yeah, I hope that this video will... I hope that AMD actually sees this video and considers bringing in the 5300G. However, for the rest of you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. And before you leave, do check out the recordings of the four games that I've included in this video for the benchmark. So stay on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the recordings. Bye-bye.